Hey guys, Davy Boy here, and I've just seen some updates that we have any change in the garrison on UET. We're at version 1.8.1. .1. So, just wanted to make a short video for you guys just to have a look and view and see what the new changes are. So, once you get into the garrison, you're going to see five new points basically for um, the platform and the spectator stand actually that's present now. Okay, you spawn in, you can see the sh shimmering shield that is around the platform itself. And you cannot pass through it unless you actually go under the platform itself, okay, where you can't pass through. So you can either fall on, into the water and die, or you can use your Hulk or JPA to actually fly around it. But trying to get back in above the platform itself, you can see I'm actually blocked here. And you can walk to the top of the, that shield platform itself. So what it's designed to do, obviously, is to stop projectiles are objects passing in uh, or out and I did notice actually that throwing uh, say a grenade against the shield wall internally will bounce it can bounce it back potentially onto the platform itself and kill your opponent okay so that's in, in essence briefly what it what it does okay and also you can see here there's a spectator stand um, on one side of the uh, the platform which is pretty nice it's a really good touch I think in my opinion and uh, yeah, I'm going to cover that in a couple of moments. So to get to the spectator stand itself, let me just select the map as normal and you appear on here. So you can see this railing, you have a per perfect view of the arena itself. It's got some nice cosmetic touches. You see these banners in the back. You've got a third uh, standing or sitting uh, area uh, for, for the people there. You obviously can gain access by it by the lift just over here and of course looking into it as well you can see the shield is shimmering it looks it looks really cool actually so we go up the lift you can see all these uh, Warhammer 40k uh, Imperial uh, motifs unfortunately no Eldar <laughs> um, but um, yeah it looks really well the angle is a bit steep I mean not steep enough should I say to look directly upon from the back but Okay, it's a small level of detail, but yeah, it looks looks really cool. So guys, I guess you can hear from my tone that I'm pretty happy with this uh, new developments. I mean, consistently this year we've seen that the devs have been communicating to us in January and March about the changes they wanted to bring in. Um, and we saw a big delivery upon that um, with the big patch on April 4th, uh, where we had, you know, the two new maps, the four new weapons, and the eight new weapon skins, and balancing as well. Um, so that's really positive to see. And now we see this change in, in, in UAT, because we've always had a part of our community, they wanted to um, see the garrison develop further. And it, definitely, I think this is a, a, a positive move. Um, also as well, if you're interested to get involved in uh, UAT testing or just getting updates maybe from uh, the community involved with that testing or maybe even the devs themselves, I'm going to place a link in this description uh, to the UAT Discord. So join that if you want. It's, um, it's a pretty good place to hang out and um, catch up on the latest news. Also, in regards to dueling, there's um, a tournament ongoing right now called IECWA, uh, run by Hazu. So I'm trying to go try some, drop in some Discord links about that where you can get information if you, if you want to get involved also, okay? So I'm going to wrap this up. Um, thank you very much uh, for, um, for watching. If you liked it, like. If you want to subscribe, get more news, subscribe um if you have any feedback questions um i'm more than happy to help you know, comment in the youtube uh comments or write me in steam or write me in discord um no question is uh, is is too small um yeah I i'm here to help guys so that's it thanks for your time guys and have a great day bye bye